everyone, Teresa Moll here with Gunpowder Magazine live at CPAC. We just found out a little while ago that Senate Bill 150, the Constitutional Carry Bill, passed in Kentucky. Um, thanks to the work of the National Association for Gun Rights, the bill passed without some amendments that would have uh, made the bill much worse. So um, thanks to NAGR and Governor Bevin has said that he will sign, sign this bill into law and we caught up with him moments ago. Constitutional carry is headed to your desk. Are you going to sign it? I will sign it, yes. I've been advocating for this since long before I was ever in government. I think this is nothing but an affirmation of the Second Amendment. It's something that's actually already the right of Americans. Some states have chosen to restrict that and or remove that. Uh, this is just an affirmation of the very Second Amendment that has been our right, all 27 words of it, since it was written 200 and however many years ago it is now. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's great to see gun rights advancing at the state level. Uh, we're here with Zach Lauten uh Vice President of the National, National Association for Gun Rights. NHGR was instrumental in getting this constitutional carry bill passed in Kentucky without some damaging amendments. Tell us uh, what you guys did. Huge kudos to our members in Kentucky. Um, they really pulled this one off. There was a last minute effort on the House side, which had just passed through the House today, ended up being 60 to 37. Uh, but uh, that, there was a pretty strong effort to amend the bill to add training requirements. Um, that actually had some legs thanks to the efforts of our members and uh, especially uh, Kentucky Congressman Thomas Massey uh, came in and did some heavy hitting. So it was some good stuff, good good example of outside drive through activism and having a strong hero like uh, Congressman Massey. So kudos to the state of Kentucky. Kentucky will become the 15th state to honor constitutional carry whenever this bill uh, is signed into law. Kentucky follows Oklahoma, who passed constitutional carry on Wednesday, and South Dakota was the 13th state to pass constitutional carry when they did so in January. This is Teresa Mall, editor of Gunpowder Magazine. Be sure to follow along with these and similar stories at gunpowdermagazine.com.